Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You are watching DEMG Chemistry Classes and myself Dr. Mahindra Guleria and I am here with my another video and in this video I am going to explain zeroth law of thermodynamics and this is also called as the law of thermal equilibrium. According to this law, if the two bodies are separately in thermal equilibrium with third body then those two bodies are also in thermal equilibrium with each other. Okay, let us explain. <clears throat> Here the two bodies A and C. Here A is in thermal equilibrium with C. Thermal equilibrium means to say that both are at same temperature. So body A is in thermal equilibrium with C and both are having temperature T. And another body B is also in thermal equilibrium with body C. That is both are having same temperature. Okay then the A and B will also be in thermal equilibrium with each other. They will also have same temperature. So this is the zeroth law of thermodynamics. A very simple law. And what is the utility of this law? The utility of this law lies in the fact that if we want to compare the temperature of the two bodies with the help of a thermometer, then the thermometer can be considered as the third body. Let us explain. Here I have body A and B, okay, and I want to compare their temperature. So, what I will do? I will insert the thermometer into the body A, okay, and you will find that the level of the mercury will start rising, and after some time, the mercury stops rising. This means that thermal equilibrium has attained between the body A and the thermometer. Okay. Suppose at that time the reading of the thermometer is 35 degree Celsius. And I will measure the temperature of the body B in the, by following the same procedure. And the temperature of the body B comes out to be 45 degree Celsius okay this means that body B is at a higher temperature than body A okay and if the temperature of the both the bodies is same suppose that the reading of thermometer is same in both the cases that is 35 degree Celsius then both are having same temperature so here the thermometer is a body C, A is also in thermal equilibrium with thermometer, B is also in thermal equilibrium with thermometer. So they are also in thermal equilibrium with each other. Okay. So in this way we can compare the degree of hotness of the two bodies. So this is the utility of zeroth law of thermodynamics. Even when we measure the temperature of our body and we insert the thermometer in our mouth, then the mercury level start rising up and it stops at a point. At that point, our body and thermometer, they are at thermal equilibrium and the reading of the thermometer at that point is called as temperature of our body. Okay. So this was the zeroth law of thermodynamics. In my next video, I am going to explain the first law of thermodynamics. So keep watching my videos and please like, share and subscribe my channel and have a nice day. Thank you very much.